welcome to Sessions with the D. I'm a D. So I hope you have your tea with you, as I do have mine, and we'll get started. Today we're going to talk about breathing, the right way to breathe versus stress breathing. Most of us are stress breathing. So one way to check for that, you want to put your tea down and put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. And just take regular deep normal breaths as you do. Breathe with me. Take three deep breaths. One, two, three. And did you notice if your belly was going out when you took an exhale or was your belly going in when you took an exhale? If your belly is going in when you take an exhale, you're stress breathing and you're roughly getting about 70 to 75% of your oxygen in that way. The correct way to breathe, I'm going to show you in a second, is to take full belly breaths. And what that means is you're getting 100% of your oxygen in. So whenever you're having a moment of stress, let's say you're at work and you begin to feel overwhelmed, your boss is down your throat about something and emails are flooding in or a coworker says something to you and you just are stressed out from the day. Maybe you're at home and the kids are running around and they're screaming and there's chaos and the phone's ringing and your attention is just being asked to go everywhere. If you even just take one minute to just pause and focus on your breath, it begins to calm down your central nervous system. And what that signals to your brain is to begin calming down. It begins to tell your brain, it's okay, you're okay, that you know, immediately goes to fight or flight mode when we're activated and we're stressed out and we have cortisol, uh, which is a stress hormone, it begins to get released in the body when we're overwhelmed and we're stressed out. And too much cortisol in the body produces overwhelm and stress. And in the long term, stress has a lot of negative side effects for your health. So even if you can take one minute, when you start noticing your heart beating fast, when you start noticing your short tempered, when you start noticing your palms might be some, they might be sweaty. So these are some signals that you actually need to stop what you're doing and take a moment of breath. You could even be in the meeting that's stressing you out and no one would know that you're calming your central nervous system down just by focusing on your breath. So I'm gonna teach you the correct way to breathe. Join me. I want you to put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly, just like we did before. But this time, I want you to get 100% of your oxygen into your breath, into your lungs, into your body. And this way, you are really beginning to calm down your central nervous system and, and send signals to your brain that you're okay and it's quieting the part of your brain that's overactivated and it's actually starting to calm down, releasing the stress hormone cortisol. So. I want you to close your eyes. I won't close mine, but I want you to close yours. Are they closed? I'm waiting. Close your eyes. Great. Now one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, and just connect with your mind and your body right here. And just listen to the sound of my voice. As you take a deep breath in through your nose, I want your belly to go out. Feel your belly push into the palm of your hand. Now exhale. Open your mouth and exhale and feel your belly go in with an exhale. Take another deep breath in through your nose, belly pushes out into the palm of your hand. Good. Now exhale, and as you exhale, open the mouth and release that breath, and belly goes in. Take another deep breath in through your nose, your belly pushes out into the palm of your hand, and as you exhale, your belly goes in and release something. Good. Do you notice a difference from when we first started the video and now? If you did, that's really an important point for you to, to pay attention to. That your brain began to calm down. You began to calm your central nervous system down. You began to calm yourself down. And from that place, you can begin to, from that place, you can begin to make a decision again, you can re-engage with your environment, and you can feel more clear-headed. But when you're overactivated and you're stressed out, you're not really present, you're not really focused, and you're not making clear decisions that feel good to you or 
to whatever environment you're in. So wherever you are, just try that again next time. Take a deep breath and remember when you inhale, your belly pushes out. When you exhale, your belly goes in. And when you practice enough times, you just begin to do that naturally and you'll breathe that way. If you're ever doing the opposite, know that you're stressed out and you just need a moment. Go for a walk, go into the restroom if you're at work, if you can't do it at your desk, if you're in a meeting, just even for a second, just stop thinking about the meeting and return to your breath and begin to take intentional deep breaths in through your nose, belly goes out, exhale, open mouth, belly goes in. And that way you'll be a lot more present with what is going on around you. Another helpful strategy for breathing is if you have essential oils. So I use Sage Wellness. They're a great brand and just be sure that if you have any allergies, skin irritations, that you talk to your doctor, your primary doctor, maybe talk to, um, if you go into a, a essential oil store, maybe talk to the worker there about your specific skin conditions. But the ones I get have no alcohol in them, uh, Sage Wellness, I believe they have a website, sagewellness.com, and I love their, their stuff. It's like really strong, really potent, and really good quality. So this is lavender, and what I do is put a little bit in the palm of my hand. This is a roller ball, and then I rub it like this, Get a good like couple rubs in, feel the heat between the palm of your hands. And this is a, another way to take deep breaths intentionally when maybe in the morning you're meditating or right before bedtime, lavender is a calming scent. And now that it's in the palm of your hand, just put it up to your nose like this and keep it there while you take deep breaths. So it looks like this, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And through your nose, out through your mouth. So you're really getting the scent of the lavender in every time you take an inhale. And when you exhale, you're releasing something. And that's really, again, helping to calm you down. And why essential oils are helpful, again, if you're not allergic, is that scent is the quickest thing that can go up to our brain and tell it to calm down. So com combining the breath with the smell really makes it for a stronger, way to help calm you down. Our nose is known as our second brain. It takes about 20 seconds from anything that you're smelling to get to your brain. That's why sometimes if you smell something and it's actually not helpful to you, you'll begin to feel irritated. You might feel some type of way because your brain is starting to remember that smell. And if it's combined to a memory that isn't pleasant, it's gonna start stressing you out and you might wanna remove yourself from the situation because it just doesn't feel good to smell it. So the same is true is if you smell something that is sending some positive signal, that's sending a calming scent smell to your brain because then your brain attaches to that and it begins to calm and relax. So those are some tips on how to breathe correctly. I hope you try them next time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, cheers.